all glory and honor, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us look to Jesus. All those who look at him will be radiant and happy and peaceful. Psalm 34, verse 5. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. There are many who are online having sad faces. They are not at all happy. Jesus invites you, brother and sister, come to me and look at me. I am the source of joy. Keep all your intentions on this altar. We pray the chaplet for the fulfillment of these intentions that we offer now. Today, we pray for all souls departed from humanity. The Mother Church offers prayers, holy mass, and suffrage for the souls. We also pray for all the departed souls from the humanity and from our family tree. Some of you are deeply worried, wounded, depressed and lonely because of somebody died in your family. Jesus says, John 11.25 I am the life. I am the resurrection. Believe in me. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. Jesus says, even though they died, they live. They are living in one place. One day we will reach to that place. And we all will come back to this earth with Jesus in the last judgment day. And we all will continue right from Adam. Till the time of the second coming of Jesus, all will come back. And all those who are with Jesus will live forever and ever in this world because human persons are eternal. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us begin this chaplet and we offer this divine mercy hour and divine mercy chaplet for the repose of the souls departed from our family trees. It is for your parents, departed parents, brothers, sisters, children, dear ones, relatives and friends. When we offer this divine mercy chaplet in proxy for the souls, the concerned souls, not only one or two, concerned souls for whom we pray today this chaplet, they all will be in heaven. Because Jesus said, though they died, through my mercy and compassion, they will live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You aspired Jesus, Jesus but, but the, the source, source of life gushed for, for the souls, souls and the, the ocean, ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world, world of fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, and envelop the whole world and empty yourself out of us. us. O blood, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as, as a fountain of, of mercy for us, us I, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. 
he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We all believe in life everlasting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us lift up our both hands and offer the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus for the forgiveness of the sins of the departed souls. If you have a, anybody died in your family, brothers, sisters, lift up your hands, offer the body and blood of Jesus right now as a remedy of their sins, as a remedy of the remission of their sins. Offer the sublime offering to the Father. Eternal Father, I, I offer you the, the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole, whole world. world. This first decade we dedicate for all souls departed from our family tree because of accident. And during this decade when we pray for all souls departed from this world due to accident. That pain in your heart is going to be removed and you will get a verification. You will get a testimonial. Where are these souls? These souls are with Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Looking to this crucifix. Jesus died on the cross as an atonement for the sins of the world. And he paid the ransom for you and me. So our sins are forgiven because of this ransom Jesus paid on the cross to his father. Father take it, accepted it and declared that humanity is ransomed from the prison of the devil and demons. Because their demand, demons and devils demand is fulfilled on the cross. Father declared it. And the dead body of Jesus placed in the lap of Mary. Those who are burdened, seeing the dead body of your dear ones are relieved. The Lord is our shepherd and he is leading us towards the eternal home. This is not our home. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. We are not the citizens of this world. Our citizenship, our commonwealth is not in this world but it is in heaven. So the shepherd is leading us right now towards our eternal home. Let us pray in the second decade of the Divine Mercy Chaplet for all aborted babies and the babies who are lost by miscarriage. There are many mothers and parents and fathers are worried about the loss of their small babies through miscarriage or through abortion or some other reason 
Those who are lost their babies still crying and having pain in their heart are going to be consoled and comforted your little babies though it happened or missed the child by miscarriage they all are with jesus the shepherd of the soul they all are with jesus they are interceding for you let us pray together for all mothers and fathers who all are worried about their small children and to the babies died in their womb or soon after the birth eternal father, father i offer, offer you, you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, son our lord jesus, jesus christ, christ in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world now the blood of jesus is being sprinkled all over the world by the sprinkling of the blood you are being washed by the blood of jesus freed from the spirit of sin liberated from the spirit of sorrows and the spirit of joy has returned to your heart look into the wounds of jesus look into the face of agonizing jesus and sing together with his precious blood jesus sets me free in the name of jesus i set you free from the spirit of sorrows spirit of depression spirit of anxiety and a spirit of suicidal tendency and a spirit of hatred spirit of revenge spirit of pride and a spirit of retaliation the lord almighty may set you free from all negative spirits that entered into your mind and disturbing you the lord may set you free right now look to the crucifix in the name of jesus i pray over all parents especially the mothers who have lost their babies through miscarriage and those who have done abortion and having the pain of that crime or that deed those who have been afflicted with the death of their uh, small babies in the name of jesus i pray that the lord set you free right now in jesus name i pray amen, amen. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise praise you, jesus. hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus third the card of the divine mercy chaplet we pray uh, for the salvation and redemption of aborted babies and also the people may get a sense in their heart that they ha- they have to stop the crime of abortion devil is always looking for human bloodshed when the devil entered into the humanity he wanted to have the bloodshed in this world so that devil entered into cain he went and killed his brother abel out of jealousy if they divide the whole world into two one brother can take the half of the earth another brother has another half but still he got jealous over his brother and killed him out of spirit of jealousy who has created that spirit of jealousy in him that is a work of the devil in the same way those who have done abortion they are pleasing the devil and demons by bloodshed because devil wants to see the blood of the humanity either through the war 
और होमिसाइड और सुइसाइड और जेनोसाइड वेन दीज थिंग्स आर बैंड बाय द लो देन abortion bloodshed is there and uh, human bloodshed is something considered as a devil worship that is pleasing the devil not pleasing god god is not at all pleased by seeing the blood of the humanity god has asked only one person to shed blood for everyone so that no one should shed blood that is the blood of jesus that is the plan of god almighty he has to shed the blood for the redemption of all people from the hands or from the slavery of the devil now we pray for all aborted babies and also the mothers who have aborted their children if they have any depression or suicidal tendency let all these mothers be freed right now and let them be forgiven by the mercy of jesus and they may they all be restored into a normal life with jesus eternal father i, I offer you the body, the body and blood, blood soul, soul and, and divinity, divinity of, of your dearly beloved son our lord, lord jesus christ, christ in atonement for our sins and those of the, the whole world, world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and, and on, on the, the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world now we pray for all these sisters who have done the act of abortion be restored to their normal life and all of them may have a wonderful life hereafter getting the forgiveness of sins and freedom from the pain in their mind and side effect side effects in their body that all of them have a resettlement and through the mercy of jesus so now many are set free from the spirit of suicidal tendency and also the consequences of the abortion happened in the family tree that is being cancelled right now by the mercy and compassion of the lord we pray for these mothers and fathers who have been afflicted if they have been afflicted by a tension or mental depression due to the abortion be healed right now and also the spirit of excessive fear that is going to be removed from you and the lord is doing new things in your life i say ah 43 verse 18 i am going to do a new thing in your life that is already started and it is already happened do not remember the former things ignore your past consider the things of the old the lord is going to do new things continuation and the lord is going to do new things in your life it is already started in your life right now perceive it hallelujah hallelujah and your barren life is going to be fruitful life this morning i got a testimony from south africa a pastor named johnson two years he was not able to do anything something is troubling him and he is not at all interested in anything and he is always laying on the bed just sleeping and he was just taking rest could not do anything excessive fear depression indigestion and he doesn't know what happened last last week when he was online 
he felt that something is leaving his body and he was all energetic came out by 4 o'clock and just after one one hour of adoration he came out with a full strength in his body this morning i got the testimony of johnson praise the lord praise praise the lord. so the lord has cleansed your mind healed your wounds and the pain of your past memories is being just erased right now the pain of the past act or painful memories of the past event is just washed away from you at the end of the third decade of the chaplet the lord has set us free from emotional imbalance the lord has healed all mothers who had a miscarriage and the have a abortion they all are set free and restored in the life of jesus and all mothers and fathers who are worried about the accident and death of their children and many more blessings are waiting for us today when we reflect on depart us souls and purgatory what will happen for our soul when we die second maccabees chapter 2 verse 44 judas the maccabean took a collection to send to jerusalem to offer suffrage for the souls killed in the war based on the second maccabees chapter 12 verse 44 we pray for the departed souls and we offer holy mass and we offer our prayers for the departed souls hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus and if judas makavain was not at all expecting that the resurrection of the body is not there the praying for that was foolish act but he had faith in the resurrection of the body and eternal life of the soul Matthew chapter 12 verse 31 says Matthew 12 31 Many of our sins and consequences of sin will be forgiven in this world in this world itself but Jesus said there are some sins reserved to be forgiven after death This is an indirect way of speaking mysteries in the bible Jesus said about in this verse Matthew chapter 12 verse 31 says about the sins against the holy spirit and these sins will not be forgiven what is that sin sin against the holy spirit which are not forgiven all sins will be forgiven even sins against the holy spirit also forgiven but this sin against the holy spirit will not be forgiven that is blasphemy sin against the holy spirit is unforgiveness unrepentance non repentance there is no repentance in the heart that act is called sin against the holy spirit which is not forgiven in this world and life after because there is no repentance repentance is needed for forgiveness of sins so jesus said certain sins will be forgiven in the age to come therefore i tell you people will be forgiven for every sin all sins will be forgiven and all blasphemy will be forgiven but blasphemy against to the holy spirit that is called non repentance all our sins against to holy spirit also will be forgiven but because of the lack of repentance their sins are not forgiven not be forgiven against the spirit will not be forgiven in this world continuation continuation in this world and in the world to come whoever speaks a word against the son of man will be forgiven but whoever speaks against to the holy spirit will not be forgiven because holy spirit invites you to repent and denying it that is the sin against the holy spirit either in this age or in the age to come based on this matthew 12 32 we pray for the departed souls because there is a chance to get to forgiveness of sins after the death 
there are many people who died in mortal sin how what will happen catechism book article 1033 says 32 and 33 people who die in mortal sin they will directly go to hell through particular judgment just after their death they will be land up in hell but majority of people though their sins are very serious be counted as not as mortal sins why it is so because somebody is there to pray for them in anticipation of your prayer and my prayer and prayer of the church god the merciful through jesus christ can give a place of purification not directly going to heaven but a place of purification we take anticipatory bail from the court a person who is going to be arrested because there is a supposed crime done and there is a provision called anticipatory bail in the same way we can also have an anticipatory prayers anticipatory bail no that person should not go to hell how it will be jesus through his omniscience through his knowledge for knowledge he understands that we are going to pray for these hardcore sinners church mother church going to pray on november 2nd praying for these souls they were sinners but mother church going to pray there is a day for praying for all the souls in anticipation of that prayer in anticipation of november 2nd prayer jesus can give anticipatory bail anticipatory blessings anticipatory beatitude for souls and also brothers and sisters i tell you a truth this revelation given by jesus to saint paustina when we pray the divine mercy chaplet how mercy on us and on the whole world all humanity will be saved even though they do not accept it we are praying in proxy for the humanity it depends upon the mercy of jesus we do not know how many are going to hell how many are going to purgatory how many are going to heaven we do not know only jesus knows but one thing we know very clearly when we pray in proxy for somebody god will accept that prayer as if that person is praying that is the power of the divine mercy chaplet so when we pray this chaplet during the holy hour the whole world will be saved from the hell not falling to hell after their death thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so the word purgatory is not mentioned in the bible and also the word trinity we have not seen the word trinity in the bible but father son holy spirit are there but the word trinity is coined by the mother church that word is not used in the bible in the same way purgatory that word is never used in the bible but we have seen father son holy spirit in the bible and mother church said there are holy trinity in the same way we have seen a place called purification place of purification and the mother church named it purgatory especially in the council of florence that is in 1439 1439 the council in florence issued a document issued an article article number 1304 there is a place called purgatory place of purification is named as purgatory that word is coined in the in the council of florence and it is approved and attested in another council council of trent in 1563 article number 1820 that place is called purgatory this is a name given by the mother church is not in the bible as as trinity also not in the bible that word is not there in the bible this word is also not there in the bible 
so what is not there in the bible through the references the mother church named a place of purification as purgatory and today we pray for all souls in purgatory and the fourth decade of the chaplet we pray for souls in purgatory that we begin very soon first corinthians chapter 3 verse 15 first everyone will be tested by fire for purification but some doesn't need any purification they directly go into heaven but somebody is retained in the fire so all are going through the fire somebody is smiling and going through fire i hope that all those who are online right now every day you are coming online when you are going through the fire the fire is not affecting you how it is it will be three young men were in the furnace a prophecy of daniel uh, chapter 3 verse 18 we have seen three young men were in the furnace and they were rejoicing and they were praising and thanking god that fire didn't consume them the same way these people are like three young men in in uh, in the prophecy of daniel they are just going through the fire smiling and dancing and going to heaven but some souls there are Im- Im- impurities stuck to that fire cling to that fire that place is called the purgatory sometime they are to be purified purified and then they will be in heaven and how we can help these souls in purgatory there are people who are retained for purification what we are going to do so we have to offer prayers in suffrage for them today we offer this holy mass after the holy hour for the souls in purgatory and we pray for souls in purgatory and for the decad we dedicate for the souls in purgatory and we pray for them so what prayers that we offer the first one we can offer a gregorian mass for other departed souls 30 holy masses that we offer for a soul in anticipation of that gregorian mass many of the souls are retained in purgatory they ought to have been in hell but now they are retained in purgatory in anticipation of our prayers so brothers sisters without any hesitation pray for the souls in purgatory so we can offer gregorian mass 30 days of holy mass without any break by a single priest one priest offering 30 masses for a soul that is called the gregorian mass we can also offer anniversary mass anniversary of the departed soul thirdly we can offer any day mass for departed souls rip mass and also alms giving prayers or offering the divine mercy chaplet or rosary or some other customary prayers are or for prayers that we offer for the salvation of the souls but these are the official magisterial teachings of the mother church how the uh, gregorian mass started in the mother church pope gregory he was a benedictine monk before his election as uh, pope after he was elected as pope one of his confreres in the benedictine order died that monk had some attraction towards worldly money or worldly wealth and he kept some coins with him for his personal use which was which is not allowed but he was keeping something in his hand and after his death his confreres found that he kept some money for himself then the superior of the house took that money and put it in his dead baba along with the coffin and buried him with the money let him take this money and go to some place where he want we don't want that money this is not legal that is an illegal money we don't want it so he was buried with that money so pope gregory was so much worried about his soul so he had a dream offer 30 holy masses for him so he offered 30 masses for that conferer in his order 30th day he saw in vision that his soul is going to heaven that day on was this pop instituted 30 uh, holy masses for a departed soul 
when my mother died i offered 30 masses for her that 30th day i saw a dream that she comes waved her hand and uh, she says i'm going to heaven it is only a dream my father died after four years of my mother's death then i offered gregorian mass 30th day i saw another dream he also going to heaven it's only a dream nothing connected with the reality or maybe connected with the reality i don't know it was a dream one of our benefactors sister reverend sister gisela she died when she was alive she asked me when i die you have to offer a gregorian mass for me then i promised i will do it but those days i was doing some other masses and some other intention so i didn't take that mass immediately 14 or 15 days after her death i saw a dream she came with a sword in her hand with a fiery look and asked me why you didn't offer my mass so the following day i just started the gregorian mass 30 days mass 30th day i saw a dream that uh, with a smiling face she is going to heaven so these are the coincidences that i have seen in my life but uh, mother char says 30 days of holy mass is important for a soul participation of the holy mass that is enough offering may not be possible for all but 30 days of participation of the holy mass or 40 days of the participation of the holy mass according to the eastern tradition that is welcome advisable and um, three times i got confirmation of this prayer the efficacy of the gregorian mass in the book of job we have seen job chapter 1 verse 5 job offered purifying sacrifices for his sons his sons used to have a weekly gathering and he thought that my sons and my daughters might have done something wrong in the party in the celebration so the following day job used to offer sacrifices purifying sacrifices for them why he offered purifying sacrifices in proxy the same way brother sister we all have to pray in proxy for the sinners every day we have to pray lord have mercy on sinners have mercy on humanity divine mercy chaplet has effect that effect that's why wonderful blessings we receive through the divine mercy 25 years without any break 3 o'clock we have this divine mercy chaplet for the salvation of the world this year we celebrate the silver jubilee of logos but 25 years without any break we offered a chaplet at 3 o'clock even on good friday we offer a chaplet in public for the salvation of the souls so we offer prayers for the souls living and also departed and also there is a wonderful provision which church has made indulgences today we can have many indulgences that we can offer for a soul for the remission of temporal punishment Pani- cancellation of the days in the purgatory can be full or part so partial indulgence can be received and apply for a soul full indulgence also available full indulgence indulgence means that day the soul is going to heaven full indulgence plenary indulgence partial indulgence also catechism book article 1471 says we receive indulgences through the merit of saints and the suffering of jesus we take the suffering of jesus and saints apply it for a soul by the authority of the church and declare that your days in purgatory are cancelled so we take indulgence for ourselves and we take that indulgence for a departed soul we cannot transfer the indulgences for a living person padre pio given a wonderful testimony he offered 
mass for uh, some of the departed souls because somebody offered somebody asked him to offer masses and he offered the completion of the required masses he heard that somebody putting in the calling bell all the priests are sitting together and taking their breakfast he went and checked who is calling uh, who is putting in the calling bell of the monastery he was talking talking to someone but others are not seeing anyone there as if he he, he was talking to the air and the superior of the house came and checked him he is talking but nobody is there then he came back for his breakfast to complete the superior asked and others also asked to whom you talked we have not seen anyone are you okay in your mind or you are mad or you are insane he said this morning we completed the masses for certain souls they have asked our prayers and it is already there in the list and we offered masses this morning i completed the last mass and these souls are on the way to heaven and they wanted to come to visit our ashram and to express their thanks to all the monks in this place and they are on the way to heaven and uh, when i was in the ship as a in a pilgrim ship one of the priest who was with me in the caribbean cruise he was the postulator of father pio for his uh, canonization he told this as uh, in a sermon i heard it this happened in the life of padre pio the, he lived in our century so praying for departed souls and souls in purgatory is a good act of charity today i offer this holy hour and this fourth decade of the chaplet for all souls departed from the humanity now all of you may kneel down and we extend our hands and we offer this fourth decade of the chaplet for the souls departed as if they are retained in purgatory let their sins be forgiven and they all be in heaven today eternal father, father i offer, offer you the body, body and blood, blood soul, soul and divinity, divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord, lord jesus christ, christ in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. In the name of Jesus I pray over all departed souls retained in purgatory i pray over them right now and i sprinkle the precious blood of jesus upon all souls in purgatory together with all brothers and sisters who are online right now let all the souls retained in purgatory from your family be saved right now let their sins be forgiven by the sign of the cross and this blessing upon the souls departed especially they are retained in purgatory be saved right now through the merit of jesus and through the merit of the saints in jesus name we pray amen, amen. amen. by faith these souls are on their way to heaven praise, praise the lord praise the lord jesus. eternal father i, I offer you, you the body, body and blood the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world now we pray for all people who are living in this world who are alive let them have the anointing of the holy spirit let the spirit of the lord may descend upon them eternal father, father i offer you, you the body and blood the soul and soul divinity, divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus those who wish to have a anointing a reception of the holy spirit heavenly father resenting the holy spirit upon you as the mother church says resenting of the holy spirit as it was in the pentecost is possible through this online ministry this is the magisterial teaching and also it happened in the house of cornelius they also received as we have received the holy spirit peter just declared it resending happened resending of the holy spirit acts chapter 10 verse 44 they also have received the holy spirit as we have received in the pentecost in the cenacle right now where you are right now where you are the lord is filling you with the holy spirit resending the holy spirit upon you acts chapter 10:44 now i pray for you resending of the holy spirit may happen the Sp- holy spirit fell upon all when peter prayed and uh, who heard the word of god you also heard the word of god today and verse 45 they also received the holy spirit as we have received and even the gentiles the first time there are some people who are online right now who are uh, coming first time how many of you are first time coming and attending this online ministry there are many i can see in my spirit you also have received the holy spirit going to receive the outpouring of the spirit even upon the gentiles then verse 46 says they also received the spirit as we have received and they are also speaking in tongues and doing the prophecy then peter said verse 47 who have received the holy spirit just as we have received so resending is possible now i pray that the resending of the holy spirit may happen right now there are priests who are online right now getting power in their ministry when they lay their hand on the sick they will be healed when they bind and cast out the evil spirit they will see manifestations deliverance they will see by their own eyes praise the lord praise the all lord. those who are online right now have received the resending of the holy spirit upon them make the sign of the cross on your body if you have a special prayer intention today please kneel down when i lift up the blessed sacrament for a minute just to give your intention to jesus it is being granted name of jesus i pray over your intentions let your prayers be answered right now in jesus name amen holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one how mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one how mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one how mercy on us and on the whole world closing prayer 
eternal God, God in whom mercy is endless, and treasury of our compassion in the soul's soul. Look kindly upon us and increase your increase mercy your in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but of the great confidence, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen.